What's up everybody, Retro Sickers here, back at y'all with a new video. And today's video is going to be a video on how to repaint your sneakers, your Jordans and stuff like that. Um, usually they tend to crack from the midsoles as you can see. Here's a better up close look of the um, cracking on the midsole as you can see um, the paint crack. You know paint cracks when you wear it because um, you know you bend the shoe, you put pressure on the shoe and a lot of weight on the shoe and eventually the paint starts to crack so as you can see the paint is all cracked up on here um, not a pretty not a pretty thing to see and it bothers a lot of people and a lot of people you know like to get their shoes repainted and this you know repainting process is something i do a lot of my videos and i've never actually made a tutorial on how to you know fix the you know cracking how to repaint it so um today i'm going to show you how to repaint your sneakers so let's get into it all right yeah so here are the materials you're going to need to go ahead and accomplish this restoration now as you can see i have a couple of angeles products these angeles products can be found on angelesdirect.com i will have the link down below in the description so you can go ahead and check them out all right yeah so in my case the two paints i'm going to need is black and white paint this is just black angeles leather paint and just regular white and just other paint. And right here, I will also be using to go ahead and top off the repaint is some high gloss acrylic finisher. And you're also going to need some tape. So I recommend some painter's tape because uh, you know, the tape, I highly recommend it for beginners. Uh, if you're a beginner, you know, when it comes out to repainting, um, if you don't want to mess up, I highly recommend you use tape. It will help you a lot and it will make the repaint very, very clean. Also another very important item that you need when it comes down to repainting is a good paintbrush. Now don't go buy a cheap paintbrush from Walmart or Target or like, you know, some kid store. Get good quality brushes, uh, artist brushes from an art store. Make sure that the brushes you get are good for acrylic paints. And right here I have some nail polish remover to go ahead and strip down the paint on the midsole. Now there is many different um, methods to go ahead and strip the paint. You can use your nails, you can use a metal file, um, you can pour hot water on the midsoles and that'll make it, you know, easier to, you know, peel the paint off. Or you can use, you know, acetone, nail polish remover and, you know, cotton pads to go ahead and rub off the paint. Now this method, you know, I'm only showing it because it's one of the methods you can use. But if you're a beginner, I highly do not recommend this method because if you rub too hard, you can actually mess up the midsole and then the repaint won't look as clean and you know, it could run you into some problems. So the best method I recommend for a beginner is to just go ahead and use your nails. That's why, you know, my nails are long because I grew them out just for this video. No, I'm just kidding, but I just been too lazy. All right, yeah, so the first step we're gonna do is going ahead and stripping off the paint. Now prepping the midsoles is one of the most important parts of a repaint because if you prep the midsoles right you will have a very smooth clean perfect repaint you know this is a very simple method i'm going to go ahead and do it with my nails because you know i'm not a beginner when it comes down to repaints but like i said i highly recommend you do it like with certain midsoles i don't use my nails <laughs> Right, yeah, so we also talked about the acetone method so with the acetone method all you basically do is just go ahead and I just it just go ahead and apply acetone to your cotton bar or cotton pad whatever and you know just rub on the midsole and that's it don't rub too hard just rub lightly and you'll see that the paint will come off so <laughs> see I started stripping off the paint with the acetone method real easily you know it's probably the simplest method to do all right yeah so I finished stripping all of the paint off the midsole as you can see all of it came off uh, now it's really smooth um, so the first thing we're gonna be painting is the white area on the midsole <laughs> So also I'm going to be taping off uh, the sole so you know I don't get any paint on there. If you get paint on the sole all you have to do is just get some acetone and a q-tip and just rub it off real easily. But that is um, you know time consuming. And all right y'all so I finished painting up the white on the midsole. 
the next thing I had to do is hit up the black and I'm pretty much finished with the whole repaint. Um, I did let some paint get into the air bubble just to demonstrate to y'all that, um, you know, if you get paint on the air bubble or on the outsole, which I did allow some paint to get here on the outsole, you can easily rub it off by using your nails or by just, you know, rubbing it with some acetone and a Q-tip and it'll easily come off. So whenever you're painting the midsoles, paint from one way to the other. And make sure that you um, smoothen out the paint as much as possible so you reduce all of the strokes on the midsole that could be on there. All right, yeah, so I finished up the repaint completely. As you can see, um, it came out real, real clean and nice. Y'all can see how fresh that repaint is, y'all. Um, you know, getting really good repaints takes time and practice, you know, because most likely if it's your first time repainting a shoe you're not going to do a great job you know the more and more you practice you know the better and better you get because when i first started repaints you know i wasn't that great but you know it took time and practice you know to get to a point where you, your repaints are very smooth and perfect you learn along the way you learn new techniques and stuff like that but um, i'm still not done with this whole repaint i'm just going to go ahead and throw on a high gloss acrylic finisher just to top off the whole repaint and you know give it that glossy look and that's about it y'all so thanks for watching this episode of retro sneakers make sure to subscribe to my weekly sneaker videos make sure to like this video leave a comment down below and also go ahead and follow me on my instagram where i post a bunch of dope sneaker pics my instagram is at jose Reminis. i also announce when videos are coming out and stuff like that i got a lot more dope content coming out so make sure to subscribe to my weekly sneaker videos and thanks for watching